Hello everybody, this is FOF Prototype here. Um, in case you're wondering, yes I am fast forwarding this. Just cause it, it, I, I literally just did this. And then realized that I fucked up. My, I never started recording. I never hit the fucking record button. I fucked it up. I seriously, I messed it up. But anyway, let's get into this. We are <laughs> we're playing The Legend of Zelda. A Link to the Past. Uh, it is a older game. I don't remember what year it actually came out. Um, but I am using it on a Game Boy Advance emulator. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. If you want, you can send me a private message. I'm sorry, I, I do have the hiccups. And I, I can try to figure it out for you. But I, just, I don't remember it. Um see here <sighs> I can't believe I did that this this is uh this is actually the third recording I have of this because I've done it twice um anyway I am using a Xbox 360 controller because I mean I don't like to use a keyboard if I don't have to uh, I do have a fast forward button in case you were wondering um because of being Game Boy Advance and not have that many buttons uh, it had the A, B button, of course, as most of you know. It also had the left and right bumpers, or triggers, or buttons, whatever you prefer. Um, and then select, start, and then your normal directional pad, stuff like that. So, I did waste enough time going through this. I don't feel like going through it again. There is nothing really special about this first part. Um, I am just going to blow through it, cause it, it's pretty simple, um, I need to go, I, yeah, I did not need to go this way, but anyway, I'm going to just blow through this part pretty much as quickly as I can, um, I'll get straight through it, I won't get sidetracked at all. I'm trying, I'm trying to focus on not getting sidetracked, but it is impossible when you play a Zelda game, even though I, uh, whatever. Okay, just go, let's just go. Let's just go. Okay, so next you're gonna enter this room here. I'm gonna kill this guy, get a key, get the map, on the map, and the map, and the map, the map. All right, so how about that? I'll, I'll, I'll just only skip for fast really skip, it's more of a fast forward. I will only fast forward the text, such as map text, getting uh, else, uh, 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 part segment. Okay. Heart segment pieces, um, or just heart, the uh, full heart containers themselves. Um, because I mean, we all know that. Pretty much, it's pretty simple. If you get a piece of a heart, which is like a little black thing, like blacked out heart with a um, with a, a small red heart inside of it, that is your heart segment. If you get a heart container segment, I think is actually what it's called. This is the boomerang. Press select to get to it, A to select it, um, and then you use your directional pad to get to it, or to navigate your items menu, get down these stairs fast. So anyway, what was I saying? Yes, your whole heart container will be a full red heart. Uh, oh, damn. I didn't expect him to hit me. So what you can do is throw your boomerang. It'll stun him, bop him twice, then run out. This is a master key. This opens up the big doors. That Zelda. She wants you to listen carefully. She tells you about Aghanim being the wizard, and that there's a secret passage to get her out of here. Um, about it. 
Uh, and then, of course, the evil wizard is a bad guy. But it's just Agonim, you know. I'm gonna say that he's just trouble. Knock him off. Hehehe, <laughs> bitch. Ah. Ah, ah. Oh, uh, there you go. I was actually trying to say before I rudely interrupted myself. Um. The boomerang, it does stun other enemies, too. Uh, certain enemies, it doesn't, like bosses. It won't do it. Um, what else? But, like, these guys here? Like, now they stand up. Can't do anything. Just sit there. For some reason, when you get hit with a boomerang in this game, you're just so pissed. That you're frozen with rage! Rawr! This little bastard child and his little girlfriend hit me with a boomerang! God damn! Passage, nobody cares. Then the throne room. Pretty simple. All you gotta do is go back to where you started, where you came in, and go straight. That was the mistake that I made. I went straight the first time. So the secret passage. Excuse me, sorry, I do have a tongue ring in. I do have a list. The secret passage is right behind this. You just walk right up against it, and you push it with your shield. And I believe I don't really need to kill anything in here. So I'm just gonna leave this. There, I think there is a key though. Oh god. Oh god. I don't quite remember. Um really for for the first couple hours of the game, I guess you could say. Um you really, you really don't need to do um, much as, as far as like getting rupees and stuff like that. Uh, the beginning of the game, they're really within this first segment here. There really isn't much that you can find. Um, of course, you get your lamp, but you get that in the house. Uh, you get your boomerang, which you'll get in this part because no matter what, you kind of need it, I believe. Um, I don't remember. I really don't remember. So, but I mean, if you want to get some rupees, rupees will come in handy eventually. Um, you're gonna need a minimum of 1,110 rupees to actually get important things. Uh, one thing is the flippers, which are so that you can go in water, deeper water. One is the red shield, which I believe was just a larger shield, and then 110 rupees for Kiki the monkey. Then rupees will allow Kiki to follow you, and then oh, you fucking cock much. Uh, 100 rupees will be for Kiki to open a door. Um, it's it's actually an important door too. Because if you don't, it fucking went right past it. If you don't have Kiki open the door, you can't get in it, you can't complete the game, and then you'll just be like, Oh my god, you're fucking stupid. Um, which when I, when I can't complete a game, I don't like to play the game. I mean, it's not like Pokemon or any sort of Elder Scrolls game where it really doesn't have an end game besides the main storyline. Um... But I, I usually won't play those games because there's there's no end to it, and eventually it just it becomes repetitive. But anyway, that's that's just my personal opinion. So what you gotta do is you just gotta walk into that block right there that I push. Uh, eventually, it will just move, um, so that you can get through. And then you come here. I'm actually just looking for a heart. Oh, I thought I would be able to kill two of them with one pot. One pot, man. Fuck you, rat. Damn dirty rat. Now, if you want to, the left switch over here is to <sighs> make snakes drop from the ceiling. Which, I mean, it's fun if you're looking for rupees or you plan on, uh, you know, if you're trying to find a heart or something. 
but if you're not that good and you have like one heart or half a heart left and you might die I, I wouldn't even worry about it the right switch will open it you get a heart container here it'll, it'll fill up your whole heart it'll give you an extra heart and it will fill up your missing hearts which is nice so we're actually going to just get through this this is just that the master sword uh, is what you need to kill Aghanim which is the main protagonist of this game um, aka the evil wizard and the only way to defeat him is with the master sword which the whereabouts of it is only known by an old guy in that X right there right there right there's where you need to go but anyway guys I do apologize for kind of rushing through this episode um, I just wanted to get through it this is the fourth time I've been through it this is the third time I've recorded it I'm talking about within just the past couple of days. And, I mean, it's it's just, it's literally the same thing. I got I just got so bored of it. Um, but if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like and favorite. If you don't mind, it really helps me out. Um, I will be doing this hopefully every weekend ish. Um, like Saturdays, I'll be uploading a video. I'm gonna it's gonna be like a throwback Saturday or some shit like that. Um, <clears throat> Game Boy games that you can think of, Game Boy Advance games that you can think of that you want to see on this channel, just let me know. I'll try to get them done for you. Um, hopefully I'll be getting a Nintendo 64 emulator. I do have to get a legit one. None of that fucking... No, no, none, of, none of the illegal ones. I get in, I'll get in trouble for illegal ones. So if you know anything, just let me know. You can leave a comment below. Also, if you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All three of those links will be in the description below. And as always, I do thank you guys, and hopefully you'll watch the next video. Bye!